Howdy, it's me, it's Sharpie Plus Productions right here. And uh, yeah, welcome to this Battlefield 5 noob pilot guide on how to get good as a pilot while crashing a lot and dying a lot. Uh, but no, this, um, I've recently started playing Battlefield 5. Um, ever since the trailer for Battlefield 6, I've got into Battlefield 5. I, I had it at release, but I just never got into it. But uh, yeah, I'm playing on uh, Xbox One and um or Xbox series x xbox basically um and what i'm doing so i'll turn that down a bit um i've just been wanting to practice flying more than anything because in battlefield 3 and 4 i used to pilot the choppers a fair bit and i i wasn't the best but i was decent enough and the the thing that i always struggled with was the planes and I thought, well, Battlefield 4 has planes and they're not as fast as the ones in Battlefield 4 and uh, 3. So maybe this is a good place to start. And uh, that's what this video is. It's going to be me just showcasing. First of all, I'm going to show you the controls. Then I'm going to show you how I've been practicing. And uh, it is working. I am getting better at maneuvering, at understanding the planes, at everything. It will take time, guys. Um, uh, probably like me, you might have jumped into a multiplayer game, you've seen the plane icon, you're like, oh, I'll take that plane. And then straight away, as soon as you take off, there's a zero on your six, it's plowing you down, and at the end of the game, you're zero and seven, and you're just like, well, I'm never flying a plane again. That was me, until I started watching tons of videos, I was like determined, I was like, I want to be good, because, you know, when 2042 comes out, or whatever it's called, Battlefield 6, I want to be able to fly all the vehicles, pilot the vehicles, do everything. I want to be an all-rounder sort of thing, rather than previous battlefields where I was mostly infantry or helicopter and that was it. So, let's get to it. Uh, first of all, let's do controls. So, um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's get to controls. Um, on your joypad, just push start and go down to options and we'll start off with controls. And I just want to make it clear, I'm only going to cover things that affect the plane and piloting directly. I'm not going to cover inventory or anything like that. So first of all, I'm not 100% sure if this does affect it, but um, there's vehicle sensitivity here, as you can see. Um, I have this very low. I don't entirely know if it affects uh, the piloting at all. You'll have to probably muck around with this one a bit, but um, I've got mine set very low just because I generally have my soul drain very low as well because uh, I'm not used to playing on console. I'm trying to get used to it and uh, high sensitivity just doesn't work for me at the moment. But uh, yeah, invert vertical flight, leave that on. Uh, in my opinion, of course, you don't have to. If you prefer flying, uh, you know, where down is to go down and up is up, by all means do that. I just find it a lot more natural to have it when I tilt, tilt up then the plane goes down sort of thing. So yeah, uh, and that's it for that that, uh, that uh, little basic control. Uh, controller schemes, this is an important one. So as you can see, pilot I've got on veteran. Uh, what's the difference? Well, basically, uh, let's put it on default and I'll try to explain this with the controller. So left thumbstick to uh, increase your throttle to go faster, you'd push that up. To decrease it you push it down but then also to your your is where your plane does this like from side to side you'd move it left and move it right and the thing i don't like about this is you've got all of this on one stick so if i'm trying to your left but i maybe tilt it up a bit i'm going to increase my throttle and your or maybe if i'm trying to like aim my you know crosshair slightly down to the right and i want to use the your to do it but then i decrease my throttle it just Ah, it's it's too much going on on one thumbstick. Whereas, if you change it to veteran, your thumbstick becomes entirely your. So, just this. That's it. That uh, you can still do the free look by pushing it in, and you can look behind you. Um, but the other thing what changes is your throttle becomes the uh, the right and left uh, like back triggers. Uh, I guess you call them R two and L two for PlayStation. Um, so this would be throttle up, so this one, and this would be throttle down. And the only thing that changes other than that is because R2, this one would usually be your, uh, like, you know, guns. 
that changes to L1, so this one here, the left uh, left B, I think that's called, yeah, LB for Xbox. Sorry, I'm I'm still fairly new getting used to the Xbox controller. Um, if you can, I'd recommend using Veteran, um, especially if you're just starting out, because it's a lot easier to get used to. Um, and it just means you have that like freedom of using this stick just to move your crosshair ever so slightly, just to pinpoint those precision shots. Um, okay. And that's it for that. How about advanced? So we've got anything in here? Um, uh, I've got no acceleration on that doesn't matter. Vehicle relative controls. I've got off, um, decoupled pilot free look. I think this is where uses default free look behavior where it requires holding a button. Okay. So this is where you can basically free look around. I've got this turned off. But um, you can turn it on if you, it basically allows you to like look over your left wing and look over your right wing, look behind you, look at in every direction. But you do have to map these to keys. On a controller, I haven't found a good like combination of how to you know set that up. But by all means, watch other videos. Maybe you'll find it. I'm just going to show you the basic ones, the most important. Ones. So these these again aren't aren't too important. Uh, one very important one is the plane control sensitivity. You want to whack that up entirely to max, to 150. The reason for that is uh, this is how fast your plane turns. So, you know, if you set it anything below 150, you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage here because anyone who's got it on 150, they're going to turn sharper than you. So if you're trying, if you're in a dogfight and you've got someone on your six and you've got this set less than 150 and you're trying to turn, but they've got it to 150, they're going to turn sharper and they're going to stay on you like crazy. So you need to have this on 150, uh, like 100%. Well, 150%, I should say, because it is 150%. Um, controller tuning. Uh, let's see. Vibration, dead zone, blah, blah, blah. Quite low, quite normal. Uh, that's it for that. There's nothing important there. So uh, that's all controls. Let's go to gameplay here. Uh, da, 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 da. Looking through, just trying to find the one I'm looking for. Crosshair color. Um, I really like this because um, I've always used pink crosshairs way back in like Counter-Strike 1.6 days. I always used to use pink crosshairs. They just stand out on every, every like, you know, you know um, uh, like environment or I should say like they, they show up on water, on land, on like bright sunlight, everything. Pink crosshair is highly recommended. Uh, obviously, you know, green is pretty decent as well, but it can fade in in some like really bright environments sometimes I find. Um, but, you know, each to your own. I, I've seen a lot of the pros using pink and um, I've been using pink for a long time myself. So, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's a nice one. Uh, I turned up crosshair visibility to 100 and uh, whacked this up to 150 as well, just to uh, like increase the, the sight glow as well. And advanced. This is probably the most important one I'm going to show you here is the plane chase camera roll. Um, I'll maybe I'll show you this in game. OK, guys, so um, here we go. This is place cam. Uh, sorry, plane chase camera roll. I'm going to put this on and I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like uh, when I'm flying and how it handles and everything. And uh, we can see the difference. So as you can see, you know, the whole screen is turning with the plane. So if I do a flip like this, you know, that could get really disorientating. And honestly, this feels really weird to me now that I've been playing with the uh, the other setting. You know, maybe this this would be good for dogfighting and stuff. But for me, after getting used to the other one, this feels absolutely bonkers now, to be honest. Uh, I, I can't get used to it. Let's try and do the bridge like this. I don't feel confident that I'm going to be able to. No, I'm not. <laughs> so that's that's with the plane chase camera roll on. Now uh, let me show you with it off. Okay, guys, and after that, after that lovely crash, let's go for uh, plane chase camera roll off. So this is off now, and I'll show you, try and do the exact same thing. I'll take off here. As you can see, screen is staying nice and straight. Let's do the 12, looks good. Now let's go for that bridge line it up there go dive a bit it's just so much easier guys you don't understand it's like so so much easier like if you can get used to this way and doing it like this you can just you can have a good time trust me like you just need to 
just need to stick with it, you know? Like, uh, I highly recommend this setting. And uh, this is the setting that I'm actually going to be playing in, uh, in the in the tutorial. So, well, not a tutorial, in the video. So, just so you know, I highly recommend this setting, you know? It's just awesome. Really, so much better. I, I can't use the other one for the hell of me now. So, yeah. Uh, and that's the difference. Uh, so, yeah, again, highly recommend that plane chase camera roll off. And other than that, that's it for that. But that is by far the most important one that I really recommend if you can turn it off. It's uh, a big game changer, that one. Big, big game changer. Audio, uh, just one thing. 3D headphones, make sure this is uh, selected and you've got master volume and all that uh, cranked up. Reason being is with, even if you don't have 3D headphones, I tested this with earbuds, like 2.1 wireless earbuds, and um, the 3D headphones still give you that clarity of where the sound is coming from. So if there's a plane on my six, but he's maybe over this way, I, I know he's over that way. I can hear it on the headphones because it, it does a really good job of like, you know, you know, putting that sound where it needs to be around your ear sort of thing. So highly recommend uh, whacking that on 3D headphones. Uh, video, um, field of view for 3P. Uh, 3P, I'm not sure what that actually stands for, um, but I'm, I'm going to call it th uh, the third pilot view. So maybe something like that. Whack that up to 90 or 95, I'd recommend. Um, again, just means you can see more around you. And when you're, you know, when you're in the sky, you need to see as much as you can, obviously. It's a big benefit, especially with other planes trying to dogfight you and whatnot. So whack that on. Motion blur, if you can, and also with all the other settings below, whack all of these off. They 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 do look nice, I admit. So if you're making videos, by all means, whack them on. But if you're just playing to win, whack them off. You know, like, you know, if you, if you just want that sharp, crisp image without all the distortions and motion blurs and whatnot, whack it off. And that's it, guys. That's controls. Um, Okay, so let's jump in and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I've been practicing this um, from the get-go. So first things I, um, I would recommend is just getting used to the camera with this setting because, uh, you know, it's, it's not the most uh, natural feeling thing and it will take some getting used to. And the way I'd recommend getting used to it is just flying through that bridge. Just keep practicing that, you know, like uh, fly this way a bit and then... Do a, do a loop and come back. Just practice with some maneuvers and stuff and then just see, you know, what works for you sort of thing. So come at it from different angles okay. and just keep practicing, flying through that bridge. And, you know, I've been doing this for about an hour now and I've literally been ignoring the planes and all I'm doing is flying through this bridge and it is working. I'm getting more used to the uh, the the plane and just everything, the controls and yeah. whoa! I say that and then I crash like that, but you know, you get the idea. That's uh, I'm going to leave that in because this shows that you know I'm I'm not perfect. I am still learning, but this is the way I'm learning, and um, I I would recommend it for you guys too. Like um, you know. Maybe set yourself like a, a time trial or something like, how many times can I go through the bridge before a certain time or something like that? And this way it puts a bit of pressure on you. I wish they had this kind of thing in game, you know, like time trials and, or like rings that you had to fly through. You know, like those like tutorials. If, uh, if I was a Battlefield dev and I wanted like more players to get used to flying planes and stuff, I would uh, definitely want to include something like that. Okay, I'm gonna try that one. Um, but anyway, so this is number one, and then with the maneuvers, you can, uh, you know, try some of the maneuvers that you've maybe seen online that people do. So, you know, turning up and then diving down on people, you know, and coming up through the bridge. Oh, scrape the wing there. If you scrape the wing, just push down on your uh, controller and it repairs. And then if you need to, uh, I think you've got infinite repairs in this. So you can just keep going for it, sort of thing, and uh, get used to it. See how low you can get to the ground, and then through you go, upsy daisy. And then maybe 
Second thing you can do is uh, start mucking around with these planes, you know? These planes are ridiculously slow. It's like they're almost gliding, like free flying, you know? They're not actually, it doesn't feel like their engines are on. So these are good practice for just aiming, but you know, you you will overtake them. And then this is why I then recommend, oh, sorry. Practicing some loops to get behind them again, see? So like, there you go. Then you're behind them, like throttle a bit. Lay off the throttle and then back to shooting that bugger down. Nope. Get behind him again. Bit of a loop to loop. Let's finish him off this time. There we go. And, you know, just practice with these planes a bit. You know, um, I've been practicing on them for quite a while now. And then every time you need to go to resupply, that's when I would uh, recommend uh, doing the, the bridge thing again. So that got bridge there, resupply over there. So we're going to fly down here. Now try going through sideways. No, we that up. Oh, but we survived. Sorry, excuse my French. Uh, repair and then we'll get resupply at the runway there. Just be wary that when you're repairing, your uh, controls become a lot stiffer. So it's hard to actually um, control your plane because it, it like goes very, you know, not as reactive kind of thing. So yeah, anyway, let's go down. Come in this way for a cheeky resupply. Yeah. And honestly, if you guys had seen me like now compared to how I was like when I first started I was swearing I was I, I almost gave up to be honest I was not happy not good um but you know this is the process of uh, learning uh, I was not happy I was about to give up because you know first multiplayer experience I thought ah, it can't be that hard I'll jump in I'll shoot a few uh, people down I'll bomb the from the inventory I'll be fine uh, you know, I did get a nice bomb on the inventory, but every other second I was shot down. So, um, you know, this is, uh, this is a really good way of practicing. Um, what else did I want to say? Any other things? Um, I think watch a lot of videos. There's so many good, uh, you know, Battlefield has been out for a long, long time, long, long time. Um, and there's plenty of videos, uh, mostly PC players, but, um, you know, if you get good with a controller i know a lot of uh, pros back in the day actually used to use the uh the controller for flying uh planes and various some vehicles like helicopters and stuff and i think with planes it's definitely easier i've tried using mouse and keyboard in the past and it just didn't feel natural but with this it just you know the only downside is my aim i'm not good at aiming with uh, controllers sort of thing but no. But it's a good good way of practicing maneuvers as well, you know. Getting behind them. You know. I, I'm using very basic maneuvers like loops and stuff. If you if you want to try some more advanced stuff then go for it. But you know, this this is working for me. And uh yeah, so it's going for a, a this time we'll spice it up a bit. We're going for a, a resupply and then we'll do the bridge so we'll reverse it a bit and then we're a bit tight throttle up okay now i want to come into the bridge oh going a bit erratic there that was my mistake might still do it might still do it oh it's going close yeah see this is the nice thing the game is quite forgiving that you can lose crash half your wing and suddenly your plane is fine but in multiplayer I do know that those repairs are limited to one I think and I'm not sure if they restock when you uh, when you restock here so just be wary of that um, but yeah I don't want to waste too much of your time watching me fly around the map and crashing and you know trying to shoot down stuff but um, oh, no. <laughs> on the bridge uh, that's a good way to uh, finalize that so anyway Hope it helps. Again, think of this video as the absolute new basic guide of getting started. 
and just do this for a couple of hours. Then start watching some of the other videos about how to do maneuvers and everything. And then once you've done that, try your luck in a multiplayer game, see how it goes. Let me know how you do in the comments because I'd be interested to see if this worked for you, if it did help or if it's just a waste of time or if it was too basic. Uh, I'd like to know because for me it's working quite well, but you know, for you it might be a totally different story. Maybe you're more advanced than me and you can go straight into multiplayer and do a good job, but not for me. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Very much appreciate it. I... Uh, I might do other Battlefield 5 videos. I'll see how it goes. Um, I'm playing on Xbox. You can catch me with uh, Sharpie Puss is my name. Uh, mostly play Conquest. And um, yeah, uh, I don't think I'll be streaming Battlefield, but uh, I'll, I'll do some videos maybe. And uh, I'll hopefully see you all in Battlefield 2042. Is it 2042? I think it is. Um, I don't even know. Battlefield 6. I'll see you in Battlefield 6, everyone. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Peace out. Much love. Good luck. Good luck, pilots. Shaw Peoples Productions.